Uh, so hi, I'm, I'm Jeff Shallot, and uh, um, I first met Ken in 1973 when I was 16 years old. And my father had insisted that I write to all the major computer corporations in the Philadelphia area and say that I would be willing to do anything if only they would give me a summer job. So I was a little hesitant to do this, but I did it. And one of the places I wrote to was the IBM Philadelphia Scientific Center, which was at 3401 North Market Street, a place that we passed very frequently in the car on our way to downtown Philadelphia. And it was called the University City Science Center. And when I passed it, uh, I had the dream of becoming a scientist. And I thought, oh, maybe someday I'll work there. And uh, so I wrote them. And I said, you know, I, I, I wrote to IBM. And I said, uh, you know, uh, maybe you need a summer student to help. Do, I'll do anything. I'll even empty the trash cans. Uh, just give me a job. So somehow the letter made its way to Ken. I didn't address it to him. And uh, he, I got a call. And uh, they wanted to interview me. So. I went there, and uh, I met Ken and Aiden together in an office, and they proceeded to quiz me about what I knew of mathematics and programming to see whether I was somebody they would want to hire. And they said, have you ever heard of APL? And in my 16-year-old desire to show that I knew everything in the world, I said, oh, yes, that's the language where everything is done backwards, isn't it? At, at that point, Ken rolled his eyes to the ceiling, and I knew that I had made a terrible mistake. But uh, nevertheless, he did hire me, and I proceeded to, uh, to meet the person who was probably the, have the most influence on my life, my scientific life, but also my personal life, as you'll hear in a second, uh, of, of anybody that I'd ever met. So um, there I met many, many interesting people. I met Dejean McDonald. I met uh, uh, Howard Smith. I met uh, Joey Tuttle, Don Orth. Uh, just to name a few people, many, many people, and each of them taught me something about mathematics or computers that uh, would later prove very useful. Uh, when I met Ken, uh, he, was, he was kind of almost everything that I wanted to be. He was a research scientist, and, and that's what I wanted to be. He was a mathematician, and I wanted to be a mathematician. He was tall, and I, I wanted to be tall. He had blue eyes, and I wanted to have blue eyes. He, he spoke French fluently, and I was a real Francophile at the time. And he, he was also always saying witty French uh, witticisms like, la vie est comme un bol de merde. <laughs> Life is like a bowl of crap. And I thought, gee, I wanted to be able to say things like that. And you know, he, he had a sardonic sense of humor, and I wanted to do that. He was Canadian. Well, I wanted to be tall. Um, <laughs> And uh, so it was really a terrific summer there working, and I continued my association with him uh, for, for a while. Um, I, when I went on to university, I, I, uh, I needed some money, and I had written some APL software that would do extended precision arithmetic. It would let you type in two arbitrarily large integers and multiply and divide them and raise them to powers, and, and also a similar thing for floating point. At that point, APL didn't have that capability, um, and uh, so he arranged to buy this, which I think was not so much a vote of confidence in my programming ability as uh, doing a nice turn for somebody who needed some money. Um, but uh, that just shows you what a, a kind of kind person he was. Uh, later, when I was uh, uh, again in university, he, he, he said, would you like to be the, the, uh, the, the registered agent for APL Press at your university? And you could sell APL Press books and t-shirts and buttons. And, and I thought, wow, this will be a great opportunity to make some money. And I'm pleased to, to, t I'm pleased to tell you that I may have been the only representative of APL Press ever to turn a huge profit. <laughs> and, and if any of you would like the APL buttons, the APL Press buttons that I still have, uh, just send me some email. Uh, it's shallot at uorderloo.ca, and I'll put one in the mail to you. I probably have the largest collection of APL press buttons in existence. Um, so I said that Ken was the most formative uh, influence on my scientific career. That's because without APL, I couldn't have done the I couldn't have found the various mathematical results that I found. There, 
It was absolutely essential. It still is. Uh, the, most recent, the first paper that I wrote and the most recent paper that I wrote both used APL essentially to find the result and, and prove it. Um, but he also had a really strong influence on my personal life, which I'm not sure he even knew, which is that uh, I wrote a paper on fractals with APL, and it actually was the front cover of a quote quad issue with some of the fractals that I drew uh, with APL. And uh, so I was invited to speak at the Toronto uh, APL meeting, and I had met a woman at a conference earlier that year, and she was at Waterloo, and uh, I thought, oh, well, I'm invited to Toronto to speak. I might as well go in and visit her. And, and I did, and uh, managed to give the talk at the APL meeting the next day, although I was rather bleary-eyed. And uh, uh, a year later, we were married, and uh, we have two kids now. And, uh, and uh, she, she taught at the University of Waterloo, and uh, so then they hired me, too, I guess, because they were afraid of losing her, not for any value. <laughs> Not for any value of me. Uh, I, I want to I wanna finish by, by saying something that happened with a, a visiting researcher at Waterloo uh, a month ago, which is uh, a visiting researcher from Finland came and had a problem in number theory. And he said, you know, are there any numbers that, that satisfy these conditions? And I said, oh, well, let's try it out. And I turned to my keyboard, and I have Dialog APL on my son workstation. And uh, in less than five minutes, I had a running program to test his conjecture. And I said, OK, well, we'll let it run here while we talk. And so I hit the return key, and we just talked. And oh, 10 seconds later, it came up with a counterexample. And, and he was just, his eyes got really big when he saw that I had done this complete program to do everything that he wanted and test his conjecture in you know six lines. And he said, what is that? And I said, that's APL. He said, where can I learn about it? So I gave him, I gave him a book about it. And, he, and you know, he, he was off testing his, his conjectures with it now. Um, so you know, Woody Allen said, I don't want to achieve immortality through my work. I want to achieve immortality through not dying. <laughs> well, <laughs> e even Ken couldn't, couldn't do it that way. But he did achieve immortality through his work. And, uh, and, and uh, you know, he, he was my friend and uh, had incomparable influence on my life. And uh, I wish he were here in person that I could thank him. <laughs>